Hello Leo, this is Deja Vu Tarot and I am back for another collective read. Once again, if you guys want to book more of a personal reading, feel free to click on the link below. There you will find my link to my website to book a reading. Also, if you just like my channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Feel free, show some love, share the video, get the messages out there, okay? So today, Leo, we try something different. I have some questions I'm going to ask. We're just going to jump into the reading, okay? Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest light of night. I call upon you now to give me the messages for Leo as a collective. Show us what we need to see in the messages. All right. What is the core issue? This reading is about Holy Spirit. What is the core issue this reading is about? Okay, the truth, right? Well, we're going to put it back. That was a lot of cards. What's the core issue this reading is about for Leo? The hair fine. The hair fine. Core issue is some of you need to get into spiritual higher learning with the hair fine. Also, the hair font talks about an organization, a spiritual group, or it could be marriage. Court, the core issue is marriage. The hair font. Clarify the hair font spirit. Yeah, the lovers, soulmate, partnership, spiritual connection. So the core issue is someone is having some thoughts here. Ooh, ten of swords. They may have a baby mother they have to end. But they want a ten of pentacles. Ooh, nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody want a marriage here. They want a marriage. Okay, let's keep going. What is Leo past feelings or attitudes about the issue? What is Leo past feelings or attitude about the issue? Nine of Wands. So you guys was wounded. You was very hurt. Some of you were insecure about this lover's spiritual connection here. I'm picking up this could be a sexual lovers too because lovers always talk about my sexual card. Some of you may be other lovers in a marriage, right? And you didn't know about it and it left you hurt. Others of you, this is just your spiritual connection. And in the past, you were insecure. Yeah, your wishes. You were insecure. You were holding on. You felt wounded. You were very hurt. This man was very hurt. So you wanted a commitment, Leo. You wanted a connection. This was your wish. You wanted to be married. And your partner may not have wanted that. Which led you to be in the Nine of Wands. All right. So, what is the, your past, what is Leo's past actions? What is Leo past actions? What is Leo past actions, Holy Spirit? Five of Pentacles. So, you left somebody else in the cold. You could, or you could offer somebody something, a proposal, a commitment, or you wanted to commit and they left you out of the cold. You was hurt. You were crying. You were sad. Others of you, you probably was taken advantage of financially. You see blood on her hand. I didn't ever notice that. Some of you were really hurt, bleeding. It cut a deep wound. It was deep. It was deep. All right. The universe advice for the present. The universe advice for the present. What is the universe advice for the present? Universe advice. Yeah, it, it definitely left you feeling abandoned here. Your person could have had abandonment issues, left you out in the cold. Okay. With the lightning here, I feel like it was a shock to you. You didn't know. You wasn't aware. And it cut deep. And the universe advice for the present is the Five of Swords. So, 
I feel like somebody is still playing mind games. Could be with a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or your person could be with a karmic still or with other lovers. And they're going to still play mind games. What's this Five of Swords there for the advice? The advice is they play mind games. King of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah. King of Pentacles is my marriage card. That's the wife and husband of the tarot. The only couple that's actually married. King of Pentacles also talks about a person that's very materialistic, all into himself. You see how he's holding that coin. Okay. Your person may want wanted third parties as well. Okay, and he was playing mind games, which probably was telling you they're going to commit to you. And then when they come back, they be on some sexual stuff with other parties. Okay. So, I feel like what Spirit is saying is, yeah, this person is still going to play mind games. They still being sexual with the Ace of Wands here. And also, it's like, follow your new path, your new beginning. Right? Because this person is still going to be playing mind games. For some of you, it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They're in a commitment with a third party, possibly. Drinking, partying, having sex. And, because if you look at this Ace of Wands, she's staring at that wand. She's not looking at nothing else. Okay. So, I feel like this person is all about sex. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, third parties. But they do love you. Like, I, I see that they do care with the Ace of Cups. They do want to work with you. But then we got the Five of Swords. That's playing mind games here. It's not in reverse. Yeah, judgment. Yeah, they may be getting some judgment right now. Because they didn't choose the Ace of Cups. They didn't choose this love. So the advice is they're going to still be playing mind games. That's what I got. They may come back acting loyal, but it's just going to be sex. They do have love and feelings for you, but they're on the judgment. What's this judgment? They may return, but... Spirit say five of swords. Yeah, for doing black magic. Yeah. They were doing black magic. This is my black magic card. I'm clarifying what's the judgment. So, yeah, Spirit say they under judgment because they was playing mind games. They was doing black magic. Uh, this, some of you could be the karmic. Others of you, this is actually your twin. They were doing black magic on you. So they're under judgment for that. Three people. Because we got three people in this picture. So it was three women. It could be the karmics now. This could be the lovers as well. Because they hurt you, Leo, in the past. These snakes here. But I feel like your person also was married. And didn't tell you. And so the snakes did black magic. These third parties here. They left you out in the cold. Left you hurt, insecure, and broke. And now spirits say they under judgment for doing this demonic entity stuff. Why are you going to get your ace of cups? For some of you, this was your person, but they were playing mind games. Like I say, they was materialistic. And they wanted to have a lot of sex with a lot of multiple partners. And they didn't care about the ace of cups. They wanted to do trickery and play with magic. So because of that, they're under judgment. So the advice is, this person is still going to play mind games. So I wouldn't. Presently. This is present though. What is... Sun. One second, guys. Alright. So, yeah, the question is, what is your present feeling? What is we your present feeling and ideas? Nine of Wands. I feel like your present feelings is you're just going to continue to do what you do. Continue to work on your projects. Some of you are entrepreneurs. You're working on your business. So it's like you're just going to continue to take action and do what you do. 
Yeah, the moon. Follow your intuition. Okay? Following your feeling. Your intuition is telling you to keep moving forward. Yeah. So, that's what you're going to do. You're going to follow your intuition. Some of you could be Cancer Leo Cuspers. Willing to take action. Okay? And... Where the situation is heading, Spirit? Where the situation is heading? Where is the situation heading? Five of Cups. One. Wait, is this five or seven? Sorry, seven of Cups. Confusion. Confusion. This person is confused. Yeah, Spirit say it's a karmic cycle completed. This person had a lot of options. Yeah, very flighty. And you cut it out. So where is it heading? Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups, Spirit? I want to say it's just heading with, uh, yeah, King of Cups. This person is going to continue to love because it fell over here. The King of Cups fell over here under the lovers. So your person is in love with you, but also the Seven of Cups talks about having a lot of options, a lot of cups, a lot of women, okay? Where the situation is going to head? Holding back. Four of Pentacles. This person is going to hold back his feelings. He or she, they definitely do love you, but is it enough to move forward? They're still going to be juggling, Spirit say. Two of Pentacles. Alright, last one is, what's the universe advice for the future? Holy Spirit, what is universe advice for the future for Leo? Wheel of Fortune. So it is destiny. It's destiny. What else? What's the advice? Yeah, King of Cups. So the advice is it's definitely destiny for the future. You will have someone coming towards you. And you know it, High Priestess. Right? So you know that this person is coming back. Okay. But, like I say. They do got to end something. They could have a baby mother here, someone that they're currently married to or in a relationship with. They have to put that to an end. They also know that they betrayed you. You could be the empress. Okay? And they know that they, they know where their happiness lies. And it is with you. But currently, right now, they're going to still play mind games if you take this person back. They're still juggling. They're still married. Okay? Yeah, they're waiting on a, a wife of some sort with the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. A lot of third-party energy. They could be in a very controlling relationship. And it's just going to lead to confusion if you do anything now. So just focus on your work, Leo, what I got with this. And continue to do what you have to do. And continue to keep moving. Because this person hurt you in the past. I think in the past you, you really wanted this marriage with this twin flame. Could be a soulmate here. Or just a relationship, right? And this person wanted you. Left you insecure with yourself. And this person was insecure. They left you out in the cold. But they got judgment now because they was doing black magic. Some of these karmics was doing black magic. And your person could have been doing black magic too. Going with these karmics. But it is destiny, Spirit say. In due time, right? In divine timing. So, Spirit, give us one card for Leo. One card for Leo. It says, push to the surface. That's beautiful. It says, you may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So, I feel like with this one, Spirit is just saying, don't be complacent. Definitely push yourself as much as possible to learn new things because you are resilient. Okay, with the turtle here. It says, there is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what's happening. So, yeah, you're resilient, Spirit say. You're okay. Okay. You've healed. You became the empress. And 
there's no need to rush. Don't rush time. Give it time in divine timing. This person got a lot going on right now. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So it's going to be slow and up and coming. But slow and steady wins the race, right? It's best to this person to take their time and heal and go through their karma and go through their judgment versus you trying to rush a situation and this person is just going to hurt you again. And then it doesn't make sense. So, spirits say, you're resilient, though. When this person come back, take time. This is a time to take things as they come. Go with the flow. Okay? You got the determination. You'll be okay. All right, Leo. So, I hope this helped. If so, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. And, once again, it'll be more to come. And, like I always say, what goes around definitely comes back around again. Okay? Deja vu, Tarot. Peace.